Somebody should. Okay. Some of the younger curators of this museum still remember being inspired by one or the other of the characters played by the leading seven actors who accepted our invitation to come to the show's opening today. We thank all of you, as well as the producers who made the show possible, particularly Gene Roddenberry, whose genius pervaded throughout and who recently passed on. We thank you for what you've done for an entire generation of enthusiasts and for as yet unrecognized pioneers of the future. Although an exhibition on popular culture is a slightly different orientation for this museum, I can think of no other fantasy more pervasive in the conceptualization of spaceflight than Star Trek. Unquestionably, the show influenced public attitudes about the space program then and I think now. One need only look at its enormous popularity to see that it is a living and vital cultural artifact. And we're celebrating uh, not just a television show and a movie franchise, but obviously a cultural phenomenon. We're talking about 25 years here. I don't think, I cannot believe that, that I can imagine a future where there will be another uh, show, another movie, another television series that will have the history that this, that this series has had. It is truly uh, unique. Well, it was just less than a year ago that Gene stood here in the National Air and Space Museum, marveling at the fact that the Enterprise was displayed here. You see, Gene loved this museum, not only because it chronicles the history of America's love affair with space, but because everything in it was only once someone's idea. Star Trek is not only a TV show, it is like the National Air and Space Museum, a celebration of ideas and a testament to the fact that dreams can come true. Uh, I think we're all, uh, we all consider ourselves very lucky people to have been, uh, I think, gainfully employed for a long period of time uh, in, in something of merit, something of value, something that, that uh, we can be proud of, something that we don't have to excuse ourselves for or, or, explain, our, or explain away. Uh, I think we've, had a, we've been given a great opportunity to present ideas in an exciting and entertaining fashion, uh, to, uh, to provoke thought, to provoke discussion. Uh, I, I honestly don't know of any downside. I think it's all been very positive for me. I don't think there is a week that goes by that I haven't heard, and I'm sure DeForest is a, has exactly the same um, result. People will come to me and say, thank you because I would not be an engineer if it weren't for you. And exactly the same thing I know has happened to DeForest Kelly because uh, people will say, I went into medicine because of him. Some kind, I say, I don't do any engineering really <laughs> on the set, you know? You all know that, everybody knows that. But somehow there is kind of a figurehead there. For some reason or other, we were able to imbue somebody with something. I think that Gene had a vision that became like a, a format for what humankind can be like. I think millions of people then subscribe to that peaceful exploration and men and women going forward 
in non-interference of other cultures, in peace.